is Alin from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today we'll concentrate on the new functionality for patterns. The fact that you can modify the dimensions from the seed in order to affect all the instances. If you're looking at these three examples and you're considering doing this in SOLIDWORKS 2012 or prior, you'd have to sketch each and every one of these shapes in order to, do, to use it in a cut extrude operation or multiple cut extrude features. It's no longer the case in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Let's take a look at the first example. As you can see here, I'm just patterning one feature, this cut extrude. I have an ellipse and I dimensioned the minor and major axis. For example, this one is a perfect circle since these two are equal. And in the pattern, I'm just varying those dimensions. So in the first direction, I'm going to vary the major axis in the secondary direction, I'm going to vary the minor axis. The result is spectacular. Let's take a look at the next example. Where I'm going to try to transition from a, a square to a circle. And I did that by having a, a rectangle here that has been filleted on the corners. And in the pattern, I'm going to vary the size of the fillet in one direction and also the size of the rectangle in the other direction. So as you can see, um, the fillet grows from pretty much zero to a, a full circle. And here I'm just modifying the side of the rectangle. The last example actually is the most spectacular of all. And I don't know if this is documented in, uh, in what's new in SOLIDWORKS. But I was trying this new functionality to the maximum by creating a more complex sketch where I have two contours, a rectangle and a circle. What I'm cutting is actually the intersection between the two of them. So two regions. So I click here, I click there. These are my two regions. And I wanted to vary the size of the rectangle in such a way that it becomes bigger than the circle. So pretty much whatever is left is the circle in one direction. In the opposite direction, I vary the size of the circle in such a way that it becomes bigger than the rectangle. The result, again, it's quite impressive. As you can see, in this direction, the circle becomes bigger and whatever le is left is the rectangle. In the opposite direction, the rectangle becomes bigger and bigger until whatever is left is the circle. And by the way, this is a perfect circle. Uh, the other thing that uh, the new functionality allows is to change an individual instance. So you can modify just one instance and you can select whatever dimension you want to change for that instance. It's, as I said, you get full control and SOLIDWORKS 2013 is gonna save you a lot of works. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.